Okay, so the ACLU used to be uh, an organization that would defend, I mean, they, had, they have civil liberties right in their name. And they used to defend free speech. That's what, that's what they did. And we talked about this before. I mean, how, how there, there was a time when the ACLU was so militant in their defense of free speech that they would defend uh, KKK members. They would defend not, I mean, actual Nazis, okay? They would defend actual neo-Nazis um, and defend their free speech. Those times are long gone. Because there's a case uh, in Loudoun County. I mean, Loudoun County has become the kind of epicenter of many of these battles in the school system with critical race theory and with gender theory. So as you've heard from me on this show, um, part of that that policy in Loudoun County where they're opening up the bathrooms um, to, to allow boys into girls' bathrooms, even though a girl was allegedly raped inside of a bathroom by a boy, uh, only just last semester in, in May. But this is a policy that doesn't just affect bathrooms and sports teams. Also, very significantly, it requires teachers to use the preferred pronouns of um, to use the preferred pronouns of whatever you know, of, of the students. Whatever they say their pronoun is, the teachers have to use it. So this is compelled speech. And it's not just compelled. Compelled speech is bad in and of itself. But what are they being, what is the compelled speech? What, what are they being compelled to affirm? They're being compelled to affirm a falsehood as a condition of further employment. And not further employment in the private sector, but in the school run by the government. So to have a job in this government building you have to be willing to affirm falsehoods. A boy says, refer to me as a girl. That is a confirmed absolute falsehood. And the policy says, you have to affirm it or you're gone. So this, is, this case is making its way um, through the court system. And now we have this from the ACLU of Virginia. It says, breaking three teachers in Loudoun County are going to court simply because they don't want to use trans and non-binary students' pronouns. We and partners filed an amicus brief to tell the court refusing to use a student's pronouns because of who they are is discrimination. And then they have their amicus, am amicus brief. Um, so they're getting out of, going out of their way to involve themselves in this case to be on the side of compelling people to say things. This isn't... This is, no matter how else you feel about it, this is without a question an anti-free speech perspective. Even if you think that you should use the preferred pronouns that someone asks you to use or demands that you use normally. And if that's your position, you can't pretend if you're trying to force people to do that, you can't pretend that you're on the side of free speech. You're not. This is, this is compelled speech. Hey, listen. Hit the subscribe button. Do it right now. I demand it. And I thank you for your compliance. It is somewhat appreciated.